Hi guys, welcome to channel RK Talks, where we primarily talk about technology and home related technology primarily. And uh, today I got the UFI Securities UFI Cam 2C Pro. I'll do a quick unboxing, show you around what comes in the package. I'll do a quick installation um, of the cameras in the software and um, in the wall itself. And then I will also show you how to configure these uh, cameras with the Synology NAS system. So as you can see, in the packaging itself, it works with Apple HomeKit, Google Assistant and Amazon's smart system for camera pack. And um, if you look at the packaging on the top, it is obviously 100% wire free. There is no monthly fee and that was the major reason I go for the UFI system. It all comes into secure local storage. And if you look at the back of the packaging, it also tells you that uh, it has a spotlight. It has human detection and there is like a 100 dB intruder siren and it also extends your Wi-Fi signal. So it felt like a good complete package without paying monthly fees. So let's open the box. And get rid of this one in this box. So if I open this one, We got this cardboard where we have a SIM pin probably it's not a SIM pin obviously it's a it's a pin to reset your cameras if you if and when you need to hopefully I won't ever there are some stickers that comes with the packaging I probably will not use them let's see so there are the cameras guys uh, with the home base so if you want to take a quick look at the cameras itself let's see so that's the front lens a spotlight that's the back so these do not come with magnetic mounts i don't care about magnetic mounts that much anyway and um, this is the sync button that you will need that pin to use with if you need to we'll find out this is the there is the qr code that you need to connect with homekit um, for obvious reasons i'm not showing it and uh, these are the cameras and this is the home base Relatively small home base, very, very lightweight. As far as I have seen and read that you need to use uh, Ethernet connection initially when the setup uh, starts. But once the setup is finished, you don't need to use this uh, Ethernet connection anymore. Uh, you can connect to Wi-Fi directly. That's the power port. You can connect uh, USB. I'm not sure why, but I'll fin find it out. This is the sync for alarms. If and when you have an uh, alarm pad from UFI as well. So let's get all of these out. Let's see what else comes under the package. There is a good white box. Let's just get this out and I'll get rid of the packaging. This package for now. Okay, so this one comes with the mounts for four cameras, the screw mounts. The mounts are relatively good quality. I uh, have no other mount to compare these two, but I believe they will do the job. As long as they do the job, I'm okay with them. So, yep, pretty simple. Um, So I will not get all of them out right now. There is this Ethernet cable to connect it to uh, the home base if you want to. And you have to basically initially anyway. So that's that. Um, this is the power for the home base. These are different country specific plugs. I'm here in Melbourne. So Aussie plug is this one. Um, so I will be using this one. I will not be using this one. This is probably European plug. What else? Um, okay, so this is the charging cable for the cameras. Interesting. So the charging button is underneath the QR code you get for home home kit connection, and it's a micro USB. I don't know. I um, I wish everything right now 
would convert into USB-C, but I guess if that keeps the cost down, maybe I don't get to comp uh, complain about it too much. So apparently we just get one cable with this one. That's strange. Um, there are some bunch of screws and uh, wall mounts to get the camera mounts hooked up. There is some more here as well and here. So in total of four for the four cameras. I'll need this one anyway. And uh, that's about it. So four mounts. Like looks like this, uh, the power adapter that will go into this one. Let's just get it out anyway. Okay, so you twist and lock. Fantastic. All right, so that's that. Um, so that's all you get in the package, guys. Let's um, start the setup and sync of the cameras and I uh, will walk you through in the um, software itself from the mobile. See you then. Okay, so I got the home base connected to Ethernet and power. So it's now running. I can see the Ethernet lights are blinking. So it's ready to be paired. So I opened the UFI security app and I'm gonna add device, home base two. It's saying connect home base to LAN port and power on, of course. And then uh, the same Wi-Fi router home base is connected to, of course. And uh, wait a minute until home base's LED turns from red to blue. Okay. So first it's asking me to scan a QR code, which I believe is, yep, it's here. So I'll just... Uh, home base receives a pairing request. Press the sync button on the back to accept it. Okay, as you could hear, I believe the sync button is to be pressed. Okay, so home base is connected. I need to give it a name, so just call it home base for the demo's purpose and then confirm. Excellent, so the home base is connected. So let's just demo. Um, it's asking for a firmware update, let's just skip it for now. And we'll add another device, and this time I'm gonna go for use Uficam 2C Pro. Um, just need to find it out. Okay, so it does not have a specific 2C Pro. I believe the 2C or 2C Pro has the same understanding. So keep the camera home base within a meter, of course. Okay, so I'm supposed to press this sync button until I hear a beep. I heard the beep. Ready to add device. Very futuristic sounds. Device was added successfully. Excellent. So the device was added successfully and it is asking to um, assign a um, location. I'm going to select garage because that's where I'm planning to put it. This camera. Next. And edit successfully. I'm going to go for optimal battery life for now. I don't know how the battery will last and we'll see. Okay, it's saying fully charge the battery before mounting for half a year of surveillance on one charge. Okay, I really doubt it, but okay. And then, yep, got it. It's saying how to mount the camera. So screw the camera onto the bracket and adjust the camera angle. I guess, yeah, regular. Okay, so it was asking uh, to take the camera to its desired position and then uh, look for the strength of the signal. I'm not going to do it right now, but this is for demonstration purpose. Uh, I just added one camera, so I'll quickly add uh, the three others and put them in their designated positions and I'll come back and set it up for the NAS. So see you then. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm ready with my drill. And uh, what I did not realize before, there is a template that comes with uh, the papers. Uh, I just uh, 
was fiddling through the papers and there is the template that you can drill through to know exactly how to where to put the drills and um, it's easy. Uh, so I have this uh, wooden board here and I have decided to put my first garage camera somewhere down right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, drill done. So let's just mount the mount and let's see how it goes. It's actually very easy. I can, I can tell like um, everything is very well thought out of. So you don't need to really guess anything. It's all the guesswork is out of the window. So you just um, uh, screw it in and be done with it. That's it really. There you go, easy peasy. I'll just grab the camera and I'll just mount and see how it goes. All right, so before mounting the camera, I realized that my previous frame was a bit too far. So I just zoomed in a bit. And um, so this is the camera that I uh, showed the pairing process before. So this is my garage door and then uh, like the, the back door to the garage. And uh, I'm just mounting it to the mount that I just drilled. It's a screw mount. so. Yeah, it's, uh, you just um, screw it in, I guess. I guess that's tight enough, so, and um, that's that. I am getting notification from my, yep, I am getting notification because I, I got detected, so um, that's good. Anyway, I'm gonna um, position it up after looking at the camera and stuff. So let's see. Okay. I don't want to see this guy as much as I want to see. I guess a bit of that. And there you go. It's perfectly fine. Uh, it's easy how, uh, you know, setting this up is so seamless and finally before everything else i'll just tighten up the mount a bit more so there is no movement whatsoever and remove the plastic fill so there you go the mounting is done so i'll carry up and um, mount the other cameras and uh, then let's get back to the computer and set up it with the nas all right guys so in this part of the video, I'll be showing how to configure one of the cameras to be connected with Synology NAS's serverless station. This is a two part process. Part one starts with the app itself. So just click the gear icon of the camera you want to configure with Synology NAS. It will present you this screen. And then from that, select the NAS RTSP and it will tell you a bunch of things. And um, this is very, very important that your home base must have a static IP address by then before even you start with this process. So if you don't know how to uh, assign a static IP to your home base, please refer to your router's um, manual or just see a bunch of YouTube videos. It should be very easy, but it's so diverse. I think it's not the scope of this video. But uh, leave a comment if you want me to tell you how to configure a particular uh, router's configuration. So with that said, you just say have set here and you need to install surveillance installation as well. So you say have installed and press enable button below to enable cameras RTSP. So you just say enable and it's going to take a bit of time and your camera's RTSP is installed. So before even doing anything, you'll have to set a username and password, which I'm going to set now. Just for the simplicity's sake, I'll just leave them admin admin and confirm. So you will be presented with this particular screen where you will have the RTSP stream link and then all the details you need to configure these from the serverless station. So let's head over to the computer and configure that in that place. 
So guys, once this uh, screen is being presented, you need to click add and you need to configure uh, the camera uh, with the RTSP stream that you got. So I'll just click quick setup. You click next and don't worry about all these settings. First, select user defined from the brand. And then in the name, you name the camera as it should be. And then, and you give the RTSP address you got from the app before. One thing to note here, I tried to configure this uh, camera before recording this video um, until I succeeded. And one thing that did not work for me at all is trying admin as username. There is another thing in the URL itself, do not give the colon port name even if the format is saying you need to give the port name here. Don't do that, it doesn't work. So once you give uh, the everything uh, properly, you click test connection and as you can tell the camera test failed. So to circumvent that, what I did is in the app itself, um, once you have clicked everything all the way through and click done, you will be presented with this screen where you see the RTSP stream. I disabled it, waited a bit, and then I enabled it back again. That seemed to have done the trick. So back to the computer, I clicked test connection and it's now connecting. Voila. If it's connected properly, you will see a screenshot from the camera at that point in time. You click next. It will give you a bunch of options and stuff. So I just say it finish. And just to make sure that the camera is working, you can kind of play. And uh, you will see it's like um, streaming in the real time. So yeah, that's pretty much concluding the camera itself. As for um, the quality of the camera itself, uh, you could tell like uh, even at the night time, I'm pretty pretty happy with the quality of the camera and how it is coming i mean yes there is a string line and stuff but um yeah 2k cameras can be happier at the same time um if you want to look into really in-depth review of the camera quality itself i think there is this channel life hackster that guy really does a fantastic job with the video quality and everything I think um, he did a much better job than I will ever do. I look at the technical side more than uh, you know the camera review itself. So if this video have uh, been of help to you guys, uh, please consider giving a thumbs up because it helps the channel and uh, I'll keep pumping out this kind of um, content. So please consider subscribing. See you next time.